The attack on the U.S. consulate in Benghazi, Libya, that killed four Americans, has dominated the headlines over the past weeks. But what impact, if any, will it have on Tuesday's results? Joining us now with his analysis is Ferry de Kirchhoff. He's a former Canadian ambassador to Egypt and a senior fellow at the Canadian Defence and Foreign Affairs Institute. Kerry joins us live here from our Ottawa Bureau. Good morning, Ferry. Good I guess, morning. Good afternoon, I guess. Oh, good afternoon, noon. something like that. Absolutely. It's one of those two things. It's morning somewhere in the world. <laughs> well, with a change of time zone. <laughs> uh, you know what? You're right about that. Well, Ferry, let's talk about what happened in Benghazi because there's a lot of obfuscation that's gone on from the White House to the CIA to everything uh, that was coming out of Libya, and we still are unclear what went on. Has that obfuscation cost the Obama administration, the White House, going forward? Well, I think you have to make three broad points first. First of all, foreign policy issues are not playing a major role in presidential election. The second point is on the first debate, which was a, really a disaster for Obama, nearly a game changing at the time, there was reference to Benghazi. And indeed, there was some mistake done by the administration in explaining itself. And I, I think that what saved the president was on the second debate when all of a sudden, unfortunately for him, Mitt Romney had it wrong on, on the lack of reference to a terrorist attack. And I think that made a significant change. And particularly when the president said, you know, that I, he found that offensive as a commander in chief that somebody would doubt his word. And Sandy Crowley got him back in, into, the, into the play too. This being said, after the events in Benghazi, there was so much freelancing by so many different people that it is absolutely true that the administration lost the ball. I'm thinking, for instance, of, you know, the permanent representative of the United States at the United Nations. Well, she clearly got it wrong. Somebody gave her some advice to say this was strictly a demonstration. So during that period of time, indeed, Benghazi did play a significant role. But then at, in the third debate, that's when I think uh, the president of the United States they recaptured the momentum when basically Romney had no other choice but to fall into in every single aspect of the foreign policy issues that the president was was defending. And, and that's one of the problem when you choose an issue like Benghazi, you try to make it a big case and then in the third debate you show that you've got absolutely no real fundamental difference with the president of the United States. And, and that's where I think we've got to look at it today. To Today, the situation has changed completely, and I think you said it very well <clears throat> earlier by saying that Sandy had wiped away all, basically, the whole agenda. And indeed, the commander-in-chief successfully showed that he did manage well the, the tragedy of Sandy, although nobody spoke about climate change. And, and, and therefore, I think Benghazi, even though Giuliani plays it up and all of that, I don't think it has, it's going to have a major impact in the election a, a few days away. Well, well, Ferry, is that why the Republicans, for the most part, particularly in the aftermath of Sandy, have stayed pretty much away from the Benghazi uh, scandal? You know, it's sad to say that a tragedy like that, that cost, laid the life of a former colleague of mine from the U.S., because I've been ambassador in three countries, that a tragedy like that is already old news, and mm. that rehearsing, rehashing it is not going to make any difference. And I think your previous uh, intervener is absolutely right. It's the economy stupid, and that's where, you know, the, the win or the loss for the present uh, incumbent of the White House will, will be decided. Uh, okay, well, that makes a lot of sense because pretty much the uh, Republicans have focused their intent and their intentions on hitting President Bar Obama with the economy. But getting back to what this means for the Obama yeah. administration, when the White House engages in what most people perceive to be obfuscation, a lack of clarity around a subject that galvanizes the nation, is that damaging during a campaign? I, it, it was damaging at the time. If this had happened, you know, just instead of Sandy happening, this happening just in the last few days, it would have had a tremendous impact because the obfuscation is undeniable. I think you're absolutely right. It does damage, but again, time has passed. And, and people don't forget, but in the voting booth, they won't be thinking about Benghazi. They'll be thinking about their, about their wallet. You know, the problem with foreign policy, for, for any 
any government, including our own, is that foreign policy is determined by the unknown. The unknown was indeed Benghazi. The obfuscation was a factor. But I think that today I wouldn't even put one tenth of a hundred percent as a factor in play on, at, the, at the election time.